Hi guys, welcome to Andrew of Andrew Colden TV and today for this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to install the latest custom firmware on any PSP. The latest firmware for official is actually 6.61. So the latest custom firmware is actually 6.61 Pro C. So to start this tutorial you're going to be needing a few things. First thing that you're going to be needing is of course your PSP. In this case I'll be using my PSP 1000. You'll be needing a memory stick of at least one gigabyte or higher. The other things you're be needing which is optional which is no longer needed anymore is this Pandora battery I actually bought this thing just to find out that I didn't actually need it at all I was actually lucky because it was actually a defective battery to begin with so we can go ahead and toss that aside the other things that you'll be needing for this tutorial would be the downloads under my description down below under the PSP tools I have included every single custom firmware and official firmware that I could find just so you guys are all happy so let's get started on this tutorial I have even included a free of emulators with the BIOS and a few ROMs. So let's start by going onto your desktop computer and plugging in your PSP. Let's start by locating the 6.61 official firmware which I have provided for you guys just to begin with. You can copy that and to rename that into shortcut folder that I have provided for you guys just to make it all easy for you. You want to copy that folder into your PSP game directory on the root of your PSP. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and copy these two other folders into that same directory. You can find those folders in the custom directory under PSP tools. Those folders or files would be called 6.61 Pro Infinity. In this case, it would be Pro C. Now, we're going to be launching those applications on your PSP by disconnecting it from your laptop or computer. You want to be launching the official firmware of 6.61 first if you already don't have it. In this case, I already do, so there's really no point. So for me, I can go ahead and skip this part and go ahead and launch the official custom firmware of 6.61 Infinity. You then want to follow that with the CIPL flasher after doing the whole custom firmware installation. And in just a few minutes or moments, or should I say seconds, you will have custom firmware. I didn't think it would be this easy, but it actually is thanks to the whole drag and drop method. Now let's go ahead and verify that the custom firmware is installed. You can do that by hitting the select button of your PSP to go ahead and open up the VSH menu which will allow you to play burnt games or should I say just ISOs. Now let's go ahead and test out these freebies I provide for you guys. And to do that let's just go ahead and plug back in our PSP under USB mode and copy drag and drop. There you have it. And you can go ahead and thank me for providing this tutorial for you guys and go ahead and hit the subscribe button for Andrew Vanjie Golden TV. Subscribe.